What is up guys? Welcome back to Overspray. Uh, so you guys know that I bought some old school paint guns. Well, I'm trying to find a bottom feed canister for the uh, some of the old spray guns that I have. And they're kind of like a special thread. So I think I'm going to go to Harbor Freight, try to see if I could find um, a little canister that I can use for a video. Um, so in order to use those, those really old guns, because... I really can't find them. They're 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 not legal in California anymore. So, uh, if you have a bottom feed or a siphon fed gun, you can't use it in California, at least if you're regulated. You know. So, since I paint in a garage, that doesn't really matter. And uh, something else I want to show you guys in my garage, real quick. I kind of got a little bit more organized. You can see I've got some new shelvings. This was actually from a sponsor of mine uh, on my TikTok, and they actually sent me these free, uh, I don't know, shelves or whatever, so they're pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna be looking for a siphon feed for this little guy right here. So let's go to Harbor Freight and see what we can find. All right, just pulled up. Let's see what we can find. All right, so let's see which one would work. I wonder if I could take these off from here. Oh, maybe this one. This one looks like a copy of an old Bilbis. Uh, so let's see how we can... Uh, Hopefully it's the same threads. It looks like, actually this one looks a little bit bigger still. I could even just by looking at it, I could already tell you that these these threads are bigger than these. Uh, let's see. All right, so found a a crescent wrench in the other aisle. Let's see if we can remove that that cup on this gun real quick. Let's see if we can make it work. So I, I was able to take the cup off. But as you guys can see right here, uh, let's see. Well, I'm trying to get it to, to focus a little bit. So it looks like the uh, the threads are just way too small for the size of cup that this is. So this will not won't work. All right. Boy. Sorry guys, couldn't really record too much in there. Hang on. All right, sorry. All right, so I ended up buying that spray gun anyway. So this is, uh, I don't know, whatever, a $20 siphon feed spray gun. And what I'm thinking is I could probably try to find an adapter uh, at Home Depot and then uh, try to make that cup work with this gun. And that's the whole idea. So I'm gonna run over to Home Depot because it's just across the street. Um, couldn't record too much in there because uh, they had a lot of uh, music and I didn't want to get copyrighted. So I just said, you know what, I'll, I'll just update you guys in the car. So uh, I'm gonna go run a Lowe's real quick, see if I can find an adapter for the spray gun and then I'll cut you guys back. All right, so after about an hour and a half searching and talking to useless people at Home Depot, I think I finally found something that might work. So let's head back to the house. All right, we are back home. Let's go take this stuff in the garage. All right, so hopefully we can make that stuff work uh, because I do have a couple of videos um, or ideas for you guys. So um, I already spoke about those. So I'm not gonna repeat myself over and over, but let's go ahead and see if we can modify some things and get this gun to work. All right, sorry. It is super cold in the garage right now. And uh, it's raining outside. My jacket's like all wet right now. So anyway, so I picked up some stuff from Home Depot 
and uh, I got some uh, brass couplings, um, basically an adapter. I'm trying to make an adapter, like I just previously said, an adapter that would fit onto here. Let's get to work. about to do uh, so I got my little Dremel from Harbor Freight and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and Dremel this little adapter here uh, in order to kind of bevel the adapter because the way it fits on the gun I believe it's the same thread pitch but the uh, the gun has a little bit of a lip I don't know if you see here hopefully it'll focus you see this got a little bit of a lip before the threads start and it won't let the adapter sit in there so I'm gonna try to open this up a little bit so I can get the adapter to sit in just a little bit more to be able to get the, uh, the threads to catch so that's what I'm gonna be doing All right, so after some modifications, uh, let me raise you guys a little bit. All right, there you go. So after some modifications, I got the cup to work, but I also need to find an air fitting that'll fit on here. Uh, the big biggest problem is that uh, I used this fitting for the bottom and that screwed in, and then that was uh, allowing me to use this for a pink cup, but now I gotta use uh, find an air fitting that'll fit here and uh, that's gonna be a tri another tricky part, but at least we got the cup portion of it and I know I can be able to spray with it as long as we can find an air fitting for it. So uh, that's what I'm gonna go do. I'm gonna go run to Lowe's real quick, see what I can find, and then hopefully uh, we can at least test spray this, at least with some water or something, and uh, see how it sprays and see if it actually works. And if it does, I think we'll be ready for another video. All right, so it is officially day two of trying to find the appropriate fittings for the Develbis gun. Now, as you guys can tell, I got this kind of situated in a way where, hang on, there it is. I got this a little situated with a little brass adapter in the middle to be able to use the cup, but now I need to find the air fitting, which is like damn near impossible to find. Um, reason being is it's a special thread um, and I guess back in the day they had like s different threads before it was even standardized so they could have used any thread they wanted right uh, it could be a British uh, thread for all I know um, which would be different a different pitch of thread versus American Standard um, or it could be an American standard, but with like a, a twist to it, you know, like it might have a, a different that like it, there's so many variables with this thing. So um, the, the only thing I found that might work was some pipe threading, um, but it was like too big and I, didn't, I was running out of time. So I had to leave Lowe's um, even though I went to Home Depot first. Um, so I think I'm going to run down to maybe like Denault's or something like that or Ace Hardware. See if they have something that might work and then um, I might be able to get this thing um, 
situated in the point where I can actually spray with it. So that is the whole idea. And uh, so I'm gonna go run down to Ace Hardware. <sighs> and uh, yeah, it's been a battle, but hey, I mean, this is a hundred year old spray gun. Where, where are you gonna find parts for a hundred year old spray gun? You're never gonna find one, right? So that is the dilemma. I see why people don't really buy older guns anymore because there's just no parts, you know, there's no, there's no nothing for them. And uh, so, so yeah, with that being said, I'm going to go run an Ace Hardware. I'll be back and then uh, I'll cut you guys back on when I come back from Ace Hardware. So I just came back from Denault's and check it out. Finally was able to find the fittings that will hopefully make this spray gun work. So we'll find out in a bit. All right, guys, so uh, I know the camera wasn't really focusing because it was kind of like a night mode or whatever, or daytime mode, but finally got the fitting for it. It looks a little bit of Frankenstein here, but uh, whatever I can do to, to make this thing work because like I said it was hard to find parts for this so basically a day later and about four different stores um, Ace Hardware was actually closed it was like out of business so I went to this little mom and pop place and they ended up having this little adapter here and then I went ahead and bought this adapter here so to be able to use the air fitting so I think I'm just gonna shoot some uh, water out of this, see how it atomizes the water, and if it works, then we got a, a paint gun that actually sprays from the 1920s. Now, a couple other things that I bought is I also bought some aluminum wheel cleaner. So this is just some cleaner to clean up the aluminum on the gun. And then I also bought, um, a brush let me show you right here real quick a detailing brush just to kind of get the contaminants off the gun and then I went ahead and bought some more aluminum polish so that I could make this thing at least look somewhat presentable right because uh, the gun is pretty much a hundred years old so uh, so I'm gonna do that now and uh, uh, actually you know what I'm not gonna clean it right now I want to see how it sprays first so let me grab some, like a water bottle or something. I think I'm gonna go run to the house real quick. Get some water, put it in here, attach it to the gun and see what happens. All right, guys, so I went, ran to the house real quick. Hold on, Whoop. let me focus this real quick. There you go. Hey, hi, how's it going? Oh, there's a little bit of a something on there. Can you see me? Hi, all right. So I went ahead and ran to the house real quick to get some water, so I got some water in here. I also did a little quick acid wash on this thing, some aluminum wheel cleaner, um, and didn't do shit. So uh, I'm gonna have to try a different method to try to clean this thing up, because right now, if you look, it looks real dark and not polished up or anything. You can see some staining here from I don't know what, maybe some old paint or something, but yeah. So I'm trying to clean it up a little bit just to get it like camera ready, I guess you could say. But uh, regardless, whether it's camera ready or not, let's see if it'll actually spray because that is the big question here. It's is a hundred year old spray gun gonna actually spray? So we already got all the fittings we need and all that. so. Let me go ahead and put this thing together and let's see if it sprays. Alrighty guys, so my setup is a little on the ghetto side, I will admit. Uh, so you can see right here, I got the, uh, hang on, let it focus, there you go. Uh, I got the regulator onto the, uh, the air fitting, then to an adapter which adapts to the gun. And then here on the bottom, I have a Harbor Freight canister with a pipe thread adapter to another adapter to the gun threads. So 
yeah, a little bit ghetto, but this is what I have to work with, guys. There's, there's just no parts for these things, you know? Like, where am I gonna find a 100-year-old canister, you know? Like, I, I can't find one, so. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and see if it sprays some water. That is gonna be the main uh, question in hand. That's the million dollar question here. Can it spray at least some water? So if it sprays some water, um, then it should be able to spray some paint. Truth. Whoa. Oh, got some leakage here. Okay, so I don't know if you guys are able to tell, but check this out. You got some air bubbles coming through here. So you can see that the uh, the spray gun is spitting, right? So it does work, it does spray, but uh, I'm gonna have to fix that air leak real quick because what's happening is I think some air is either um, escaping and it's not letting the air cap hold its pressure, right? So it's kind of like sputtering or air is coming in and it's just fucking up everything but I think I think what's happening is there's a uneven amount of air pressure that's under the cap because there's a leak so uh, let me try to fix that real quick and then uh, I'll cut you guys back on alrighty guys so um, what I ended up doing was the tip was just a tad bit loose so I turned down the tip a little bit on inside the gun the fluid tip and then I went ahead and ran some Teflon inside so that the air cap wouldn't leak so you got a little bit of Teflon there you go got a little bit of Teflon right there just to uh, well because there's threads right threads for the cap so I put a little bit of Teflon so that it wouldn't leak air and then like I said I tightened up the tip so let's see what happens now let's go uh, air source here and So it's pretty cool how it atomizes. So let me see how close I can get for you guys to see the atomization. I think it's gonna need a darker background. So You can see that the fan size is pretty small, right? It's only a couple inches wide. So really to open up as much the fan as possible, I'm gonna have to spray about, maybe about a foot or two away. Um, and the sad part is that there was no fan control back then, right? You got what you got, right? Let me take that off for a bit. Um, so yeah, there's no fan control. If you look anywhere on the gun, there's no way to adjust the width of the fan. Um, so like I said, that, that's just how it was designed back then. It was just literally how much fluid do you want and stick your air on it and go ahead and spray. That was, that was it. That's all you had, right? So um, it's pretty interesting that, I mean, for the most part, it still sprays. I'm going to have to try to see what else I can do to try to cover up that leak. But for the most part, I think it'll paint. Alrighty, guys. So... I got some work to do with the old Devilbus spray gun, trying to get the uh, air leak situated. Uh, the air cap's just leaking, so I don't know if maybe the air cap was dropped and it kind of just kind of messed up the air cap, or if there's something internally I'm missing, maybe a seal or something. Um, so I'm gonna try to fix that off camera, but that's all I have for you guys today in this video. 100 year old spray gun, probably the oldest spray gun on YouTube, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. And uh, as always, stay spraying, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.